like a bow. So the question goes as following. These questions are questions that I'm answering for my Patreon supporters. If you guys ever want any of these questions answered in a similar fashion, you guys can support me on Patreon and get your questions answered. Don't forget we're having a seminar in London at the end of July. Um, click on the description to purchase those tickets. All right, so the question goes, my question. So I have been talking to a guy for three months, met online dating, met three times. I went this, I went distant like him. And then he came back to me getting a little emoji asking me to go see him, which I did, bearing in mind he lives two hours away. I coincided a trip with my family through who live near him. After this, he has been distant. I think I may have came across bitchy, I'm not sure. The last thing that was said was he said, maybe you will see my outfit. And I said, maybe, maybe not. His response, I decide, okay. And he, and he said he wanted to see me smile in my profile pic. And I said, you see me smile if and when you see me in real life. To which he responded, K. So naturally, I responded, K, to these messages. Now he has read my message and now responded. Which he keeps on doing. Leaving it so long to message me back. Feels like he wants me to chase. So. So you're not messaging him. And he's not messaging you. And it's because he wants you to chase. Okay. I don't know what to do. I wouldn't chase. I keep pulling away. But when he comes back forth. He's just distant anyways. So when he comes back, he's distant. He made a passing comment about me going to his town, which I said, you could come to my town. And he just ignored this. I feel like maybe I should move on. Maybe. But he always comes back and messages me, giving me bare, bare minimum. What should I do? And then she has an update. And the update says, so my question is, why is this guy not making effort to come and see me? Every time, is it possible that he doesn't like you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that sounds rude. But, but for real, for real, it's possible that he just doesn't like you that much. Every time I bring up coming to me, he changes the subject. He will sit on the phone with me for an hour. He seems to only want me to, to go to him. We have been talking for three months now. I'm fed up and put in the effort. We've met three times. I told him on these occasions I didn't want to see him. I want to see my family and then coincide with seeing him in my trip. I'm scared he's using me. Using you for what? Look, my love. He doesn't like you, move on. It's called breadcrumbing, okay? He's breadcrumbing you. He likes you enough to message you, but doesn't like you enough to come see you. You know, so it's kind of like, look, some people won't tell you that they don't like you. Why? I don't fucking know. But some people are just dickheads in that way. When you encounter those types of people, your response should not be to get, to get, um, to get assurance from them. Your response should be to pull away. Because if you chase after people who are not making an effort to see you, you're never really going to find out the people who really like you because you're always infecting everything with your attention. When people like you, they come to you. It's that simple. They compromise. This guy doesn't like you, and you got to move on. And you got to make sure that you've – look, my love, look, people, look, look, people. I love getting questions, okay? It pays my bills. But at the end of the day, th th these types of things should not be happening if you watch my channel. Like, maybe if you watch fucking Matthew Hussey, okay, but, but, but my God, like, like,
I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like, you think he wants you to chase? That's why he's not. My love, don't tell people you watch my channel until you fix that. Okay? If you tell them you watch Marco Rosenfeld, tell them you watch Matthew Hussey. Just, just don't tell people you watch my channel. And, and until you stop doing that, and then you could tell people you you watch my channel. I would not mind, but this is just too many mistakes, man. Come on. Let's go to a quick commercial break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't purchased any of my courses, we have a special bundle deal for everyone um, so that you can purchase all of my courses, meaning you could purchase the Psychological Game of Attraction, Natural Chemistry, and Nice Girl, along with all of the bonuses. Originally, if you purchase everything without the bundle it'll be around 400 around 500 dollars to be honest with you um but right now if you guys purchase it with the bundle you guys will be able to get all of these courses psychological game of attraction which is for women for women who are single natural chemistry which is for women who are in a relationship nice girl which is a course on assertiveness along with all of the bonuses social mastery practical mastery in terms of how to master anything social mastery in terms of how to master your social skills and the laws of human nature wherein i it's part of the robert green book club i used to have all of these naturally like i said it's 500 now you get it at 394 which is essentially 20 percent off everything but if you guys want to purchase a more affordable bundle you guys can purchase the bundle without the bonuses and that will be at two um 224 rather than the 300 well rather than the 293 that you guys will naturally purchase it and this course rather than watching all of my videos and because they, they could be random and you could sort of like lose the big picture because there's just so many videos you guys get all of the content condensed in a course so purchase it right now click on the description down below where it says pur purchase the bundle and i'll see you guys inside like a bow. Jan says, should I overlook the lack of physical attraction if the guy treats me like a queen in every other way? Depends, right? I think so. Depend Honestly, it depends on your age, in my opinion. He's financially stable with a business mindset, will spoil me and buy me all the things that I've ever dreamed of. He will make me happy. He, he will make me a happy wife. Because I would never, never question his loyalty. And he will always make me feel like I'm the prettiest girl in the world. Good for you. No matter what. He is more than just a sugar daddy. Because he is ready to marry me as soon as possible with a Tiffany engagement ring. He also has a big dick. So I'm content in bed. What? Oh, 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 you meant should you overlook the fact that you're not physically attracted to him because he treats you like a queen? Yeah, 100%. What? Girl, you, you'll get over it. All right, keep going. Um, it actually, it depends what you're looking for. The sex is good. The only hesitation in my mind is that he's not my type. The type I always imagined I would marry. I'm having a difficult time wondering if the little attraction I have could make it work for a marriage, especially if he's talking about forever. <laughs> like, like she had to like emphasize the word forever. Like it kind of like scares her. You know, he's gonna die one day, my love. You know that, right? Like he's not he's gonna be he's not gonna be around forever. Um and you know what's funny, you know, you know how good looking people you get over the fact somebody's good looking. Honestly, I don't know if you could get over the fact that someone's ugly. I don't know. I'm wondering, to be honest with you. People are saying you'll get over it. The sex is good, but I don't necessarily get all hot and heavy like I felt with my previous ex. But all of my exes have cheated on me. So I feel like I have to pick my poison. I realize that he is 100% the smartest best choice when looking for a loyal husband who will never cheat on me. So because I have an extreme fear of being cheated on after I'm married, do you think I should focus on this loyal guy? Even if it may seem like I'm settling on his looks, loyalty is definitely important to me. How important really is it? Like, 
I think you should stay with this guy. I think you will grow to like him. I don't think you should marry him now, but I think you should give it a, at least a few more months. If, if a guy is treating you nice when you've never been treated nice, you know what's funny is that you may self-sabotage. You may fucking implode. Like, seriously, you may implode. You may f end up cheating on him. I don't know. You, know what I mean? you may end up cheating on him with your husbands, ex with your exes. Because you don't like the dick, because you don't like the dick, you're going to justify him going with an ex because you know him. So it's your little secret, you know? And, and it's kind of like, I don't know, like... I'm not here to judge, you know, but um, what's your question, though? Even if I'm settling on his look. I think you should settle on his looks. I think if he's if he treats you great, because like you said, every time you try to find a guy that has your physical type, you end up getting cheated on. So it's kind of like you want, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to give this a try. Don't think about getting married. That's a little too far. Think about each moment. And a lot of the times you might be surprised. One day you might find his 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 crooked nose cute. You know, you might find his 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 fucking ogre looking face cute. Like it happens. Like, trust me, women, like it happens. So you'd be surprised what happens when you end up loving somebody someone who's ugly. They look cute. Like it's crazy. I mean, look at it's, that's why ugly kids exist. Their parents find them cute. And then you got to act like their baby's cute and compliment the motherfucker. Like, it's it's like, they really think it's cute. <laughs> like, seriously, it's crazy. I'm like, that looks like a man with bills. Like, find out if he's a man. Like, seriously, it's crazy.